you will learn exactly how to do advanced troubleshooting to troubleshoot the dead mobile phone step by step. This video, we are working on a small mobile PCB right here, small phone that is not powering on and it has small current trigger fault. You will use my book, The Block Diagram Master, to understand this fault better. After that, I will show you how you can use schematic diagram to do advanced troubleshooting and find the fault. Later, I will show you how you can solve the fault. The video will be long, but you will learn a lot from it. So when it comes to my book, The Block Diagram Master, can you really use it to troubleshoot faults like this one that we are working on in this video? I will show you exactly how you can use the book to troubleshoot. This is my book, The Block Diagram Master. You can send me a message on WhatsApp to get it. We'll get it from the link in the video description or the link in the pinned comment. If you take a look at this section, it says current monitoring with DC power supply. If you take a look, you will see you have standby, we have power key. We are looking at some particular section in the book where you can study and know exactly what is going on when a phone is getting a certain current as the phone that we are working on, right? So we are focusing on here. We are getting between 0 milliampere to 30 we are not even getting up to 30 milliampere right what we are getting is 16 17 like that so we are looking for a particular section here that says power key press when you get 0 milliampere in standby mode the next step is to press the power key once you press the power key you should see around 30 milliampere we are missing that we are getting 17 not even up to 30 milliampere right this is the stage where the power IC start distributing voltage. So it shows that there is trigger, but the power IC is not really distributing. So in our case, we are not getting up to 30 milliampere, which means that the power IC is not fully triggering. So how can you confirm this? If I go to the other part of my block diagram master book, where I've talked about the DC power supply, current draw, right? The current consumption here and we get to this particular section here which is uh, 20 milliampere to 30 milliampere we are going to use this section because 17 milliampere is not that different from here so if you take a look right here you will see power button is okay which we have confirmed that because there is trigger right power button is okay power manager ic trying to power the power manager ic is just trying to power not fully powering up the CPU clock line might be missing and that's why you might get a low reading even when there is a current trigger. So if you come to this other page here in the block diagram page, you will see that we are going to focus on the V cover page. We are going to focus on the power supplies using schematic diagram to solve this fault. This lesson I could have just solved the fault but I'm doing this so that you should know that there are things and the sweetest ways to work. It's not all about getting the, the phone to work, you enjoy how you work and how easy you understand the circuit, right? So we have the power IC here from my book. You can see the page, we have the power IC, we have the CPU. We are focusing on the V-core voltage, which is the power supply of the CPU. So if you come here, you will see that the next output, which is the voltage that the power manager IC gives to the CPU, is the V-core the v-core right this v-core is the vreg which is vreg is the power supply the output power supply this v-core is the vreg of the cpu the v-core is generally known as the input voltage of the cpu so we are going to find if the power manager ic is giving this v-core voltage to the cpu we are also going to find the the, the v memory which i've also talked about the voltage in this other page but it's not written as v memory right here because different schematics will have different names but i've explained all the voltages here we are going to find the v-core and the v memory if we get or we don't get it we will know what to do but first here we have our schematic diagram software. I'm using Orion schematic diagram software here. And we are going to look into the V core that I talked about earlier. And we are going to look for the V modem. The reason why we are looking into this, I, I could just like just go on to solve this problem in a very easy way and simple way because I know the problem of this mobile phone already. But because of the fact that I want you guys to have a glimpse of what you can learn from my professional level course, what is being taught. In my professional level course and why you can also learn from my movies in case you get my blog diagram master book i want us to take this step by step because first 
this is just a small power manager ICCP because we are working on a very small mobile PCB. It's the best PCB for you to learn how you can find the, the power supplies of the CPU. So once you open the schematic diagram here, what you have to look for, you have to look for the power supply section of the of the power manager IC. We are going to look for that circuit. We are in the page one. I've just clicked to go to the next page to see if this is what we are looking for. So we have the analog, the PMU analog circuit. This is not what we are looking for. This is also important. Also important when it comes to finding the VREGs. And also when it comes to finding why the power manager IC is not able to to uh, consume a high amount of voltage even when it's been triggered because the analog voltage circuit we have a lot of uh, circuits in the mobile PCB using the analog voltage which needs to consume a lot of current so if I just go to this other page you will see we have all the power supplies here we are going to take a look at the power supply circuit here so we have the the power manager IC. This is just the power supply circuit of the power manager IC. And what we are looking for, like I said, we are looking for the V core. We are looking for the V core voltage. You have to find the V core sections using the schematic diagram. Find the components that we can test the V core voltage in. If you check here, you will see we have V core. You have V core right here. So this is the power supply of the CPU in this mobile phone. This is the power supply here. And if you take a look here, you will see, take a look here, you will see that you need to get 0.6 volt to 1.3 volt in the V core section. So how do you test this? You test this by finding, you can find this, or you can find this capacitor right here. You can find this capacitor in which I'm going to do the same thing. And also we have we here we have the VDD EMMC core voltage, which is the power supply of the EMMC, the main power supply of the EMMC. You need to have 1.8 volt, 3.3 volt, or exact 3 volt. So these different voltages depends on the state that the phone is in, but we need to have 3 volt. In our case right here so we are looking for the three volt the power manager ice is actually triggering on and has a, a stable trigger even though it consumes just 17 milliampere but we need to check if that current consumption and that stable trigger is even giving out a voltage the reason why we are looking into this is because we want to even though we know very well that a, the power manager ice is not fully initializing we need to check still to see if it's given out so that you will have the knowledge of how you can operate all this. You get, so we have to look for the VDD EMMC core voltage. So here you can see that this line is not connected to any uh, component. And if you don't know the component that the line is connected to, you won't be able to test the voltage, right? So what are we going to do here? We are going to go to the EMMC section let me click the next page. Then we are focusing on the VDD EMMC core voltage. Go to the next page and look for the, for the EMM and look for the EMMC section. We are looking for the VDD EMMC core voltage. So here we have it. So, which means that it's very simple, right? We are going to test the voltages here when we press the power key. If you press the power key, we need to get three volt here in one of these capacitors, in all of these capacitors, sorry. So what we are going to do, we are going to look for the VDVD EMMC core voltage. So this is a three volt, three volt main power supply of the EMMC. If you take a look here, you will see that we can find the voltage here. On the stereo capacitor so because you see them connected in one place in the schematic diagram doesn't mean that when you get into the pcb you will see them in the exact position all together the three of them in the exact position and if you look for the v core voltage you will see that it's coming to this section and this is where the cpu capacitors are in this mobile pcb 
and this is where the CPU capacitors are on this mobile PCB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check everything step by step. If I want to explain that while checking this video, it's going to take a lot of time, but I just want you to know what exactly that I'm about to do. So what I'm about to do here, I'm going to look for the CPU main power supplies here. If anyone is missing, we will still do the same thing. Even if it's not missing, we will still do the same thing because we are not going to test all the, the connections, output connections of the power manager IC. So we are going to look for the V-core voltage and we are going to look for the for this voltage, the VDDD EMMC core memory voltage. The first thing that I checked, I checked for the 3.3 volt here or the 3 volt and I got the 3 volt here which is the VDD memory core voltage. So the next thing I had to check for the CPU capacitors to check the V-core voltage. So what I was looking for, I was looking for 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 volt here and I do not get the voltage. I'm looking for this voltage because they are the main V-core voltages of the CPU, right? So like I said, even if I get a voltage or not, I will still go on to solve the problem the same way because first we know exactly where this problem is coming from. And after checking right now and confirming, clearly we know exactly what to do and we will do it right away. So keep on watching. While if you want my professional level course or my basic level course or my book, just send me a message using the number on the screen right there. You will get my courses right now with a huge discount. Ready beats.